Hello everyone and welcome to my Young and Restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Nikki is going to require a new executive assistant because Victor intends to take over Chancellor and incorporate it into the Newman Enterprise. Fans of Y and R will remember that not very long ago, Nikki lauded Claire Grace's praises, saying that Claire was the best assistant she had ever had, at least until Claire's hidden agenda was made public. At the lake house, things went too far, but Claire had been a great worker until then. Nikki had hoped that after this chancellor takeover, Claire would return to work with her, but Claire declined her offer. Nikki could have to look for other employment opportunities because Claire refuses to leave Harrison Abbott, Michael Mueller, when he needs her. Could Jordan use this as a chance to execute a different plot? Maybe Jordan could get access to the Newman family by using his connections and eventually sending a new and deadly protege. Despite being confined to a maximum security facility, Jordan has demonstrated her resourcefulness. There is always a way when there is a will. If Nikki ended up with another too-good-to-be-true assistant, Claire would grow skeptical of her very early. That would be fascinating. Since Claire is familiar with Jordan's typical strategies, she would recognize the telltale symptoms if her op sent a replacement to become Claire 2.0. Claire might then raise the alarm and alert Victor Newman to the fact that there is a fox in the henhouse. That could be a useful approach to demonstrate Claire's character development. It might also pave the way for Claire to eventually take a job with Newman if Harrison finds stability at home. Ultimately, Jordan has been far too silent of late and still harbors resentment toward the Newmans, so perhaps she should go into her well-stocked toolkit. Jordan will likely make some risky decisions at some point, according to our Y&R predictions, so stay tuned for updates on any startling developments. According to teasers for the young and the restless, Jordan might fulfill her vow of vengeance in the future, so stay tuned if Martin Laurent and Alan were able to exchange clothes after their fall from the balcony. Martin Laurent might still be alive. Martin could have easily had this chance to trick Tracy and her closest friends and family members with just that. With Alan exhibiting peculiar behaviors, such as failing to identify the Abbott estate he has visited previously, it appears that Wide R is preparing for a major Martin revelation. If this is Martin, he'll keep manipulating Tracy and try to entice her to come closer. Given Tracy's current state of infatuation, Martin should presumably pop the question next. It's not difficult to picture Alan proposing to Tracy in a stunning way. To make Tracy feel unique and persuade her that he wants to live out the rest of their days with, Martin might really go above and beyond. Naturally, Alan and Tracy's romance has been developing quickly, and if they get engaged, it will continue to do so. That is the kind of thing that might cause Tracy's family to become suspicious and raise red flags. Billy Abbott, Abby Newman, and Jack Abbott Abbott may advise Tracy to take it gradually and not rush into marriage with Alan. According to Alan's most recent report, Ashley Abbott is scheduled to return to town by the end of summer, rather than by the fall as was previously anticipated. That might soon cause Ashley to question Alan and his atypically impetuous actions once more. Maybe a quick marriage proposal may be the first step toward Martin's final downfall. Ashley might think Tracy's most recent connection is shady and that Alan is acting strangely. We'll keep you updated on any devastating Martin news and provide more predictions about GC romance calamities. According to spoilers for The Young and the Restless, Tracy may experience complete devastation in the future. Nikki is about to get some interesting news once she gets over Lily's handling of all the drama surrounding Billy Abbott. Lily may confess that she wants to force Billy out at Abbott Chancellor because she will trust Nikki enough to give the inside scoop. Lily thinks Billy will hurt the company more than help it, so Nikki might play along with that and say she too wants to preserve Catherine Chancellor's legacy. 
We'll see if Nikki succeeds in her attempt to entice Lily to form an alliance. Victor Newman will talk to Billy in private in the interim, and he'll probably bring up Jill Abbott's health issues. Billy might be inquisitive about Victor's methods for gaining access to information concerning Jill's treatment in London and question how he learned of it. Billy should soon receive updates on Victor's intentions, as he intends to have Adam Newman threaten to reveal Jill's heart problems through Newman Media. Instead of working with Jack Abbott, he would plot with Diane Jenkins Abbott in the hopes of sabotaging Victor's agreement with Kyle Abbott. Diane and Jack would like for Kyle to have no guidance from Victor at all. Therefore, they will do all in their power to get Kyle out of Glissade as quickly as possible. Though it may be easier said than done, Diane is willing to go the extra mile if necessary. Jack will not enjoy the thought of using Victor's degree of brutality, but Diane will believe that in this case, regaining their son outweighs morality. In the end, it appears that Jack will agree with Diane and acknowledge that, at least while facing Victor, being dishonest is the only way to prevail. Don't miss all the sneakiness that's coming up, as our Y and R forecasts indicate that Jack and Diane are executing a startling sabotage operation. Spoilers for the young and the restless indicate that Diane and Jack need to exercise caution to avoid their plan backfiring this week's spoilers for the young and the restless lead us to the moment of truth. Diane has a fresh idea to assist Kyle, Billy has a surprise for Lily, and Sally is pressuring Adam to come clean. Will he, though? Lily will continue to be the company's face, but Billy decided to stand back and work behind the scenes while Victor waited in the wings, ready to pounce and seize Abbott Chancellor. However, he swiftly had second thoughts and appears to be leaning completely in the opposite direction. Billy tells Lily, I'm going to fly solo at Abbott Chancellor. Your assistance is no longer required. He can't mean it, can he? Despite everything Kyle has done to distance himself from the family, Diane is still committed to getting him back. Maybe we ought to ask ourselves, what would Victor do? She says to Jack while they converse at his Javid office. He's the dirty tactics expert. Jack sits at his desk and lets out a long sigh. He complains, I detest bringing myself down to his level. Diane nevertheless believes that this might be the answer to their issue. Well, I am willing and able to make the sacrifice if it takes a little moral compromise to save our son. She grinned. Billy and Sally had already had a suspicion that Chelsea and Adam had not been completely honest with them about their interactions with Connor. However, their anxieties multiplied when they heard the two talk about something that had transpired that evening. Sally approaches Adam more directly as Billy tries to gently get Chelsea to share the secret that's breaking her heart. Does it mean yes or no, she asks. Did you spend the night in Baltimore with Chelsea? Will Adam tell the truth or continue to lie? And will Chelsea treat Billy the same way even if he chooses to keep it a secret? Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.